This is Ray's Reviews. We are live with all the craziness going on. Gonna go over today some basic fundamentals for backpacking because you're going to want things at the ready with everything going on crazies. So, this is a Jansport. This one's mine. It's very big, but you don't want it too big. You want it to fit you. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that at the bottom here, you have your clothes. Important things and quick access is in this pocket. The two side pockets are mostly for your quick items. And the inside, you can use for your clothes, your tent. There we go. And everything else that you can think of that you need. So some of the basics that you're probably going to need with everything going on. You want to get yourself some paracord. There's our baby. Any good kind of paracord will work. You want to get a few hanks of those. And make sure you get them good. You also want to get... A MSR water filter or any good water filter that gets rid of the junk in the water will do. You also need to get a good medical kit. You can, like I did here, build your own medical kit with more than just bandages. This is important because in case somebody falls, gets hurt, or what have you. There are various items in here. You can custom tail it to your particular situation. I would not go anywhere without a medical kit. The next thing you want to think about is your comfort level. This is a ridge rest. You get what you can afford. Ridge rests are very good. You just lay them down and put your sleeping bag over the top of it and a good sleeping bag this time of year is invaluable you also want to get yourself a half decent tent this is a good eureka we've had this a while you want to make sure you have a really good tent you don't want to skimp on that i've exchanged out the regular stakes for these Heavy-duty metal stakes, they add a few pounds, but if you're into rough terrain, you're going to want stuff like this. You probably find them at Walmart, which is a good idea. You'll want some good knives. This is a Swedish Mora knife. They make different ones. They make the black one. Here's the green one. I taped a scraper for fires with it. You can customize it and get it where you want it. Also a good idea for wood is a nice hatchet. This is a SOG hatchet. You're going to want this. You can generally get them at Dick's Sporting Goods. The next thing you want is a Sven saw. It just pops out and you'll have a good saw. To get to the big stuff and the little stuff. And that's a very good saw to have. You're going to need it when you get to where you need to be and you get to your camp. Here's another pack just to get you started on what type of pack you should get. These are Jansports. Get the best you can afford. And that way you'll have it because the weather is getting really off and that way you'll have it. Over here, <coughs> excuse me, is a bunch of fishing things and some good boots. <coughs> excuse me. And you got your boots. Today's focus, I believe, should be on a really good... Winter bag. We're entering the fall season here in the northeast. 
I have a good bag here. What you want to look for is good loft. You don't want to skimp on a bag. You don't want to get a very cheap bag. You want one that's got good insulation and it has a good solid cords that you can stuff it in your stuff sack in. Big Agnes makes really good equipment and these are zero degree bags. You can always double up with your summer bag and that way you'll have a good system and you won't have to freeze out there when you're out exploring and doing different various item things. Always make sure that you have everything at the ready and make sure that you get the good equipment that you can afford and try not to skimp out on it. Also make sure that you also have a snake bite kit. I've not seen snakes where we're at but I have seen them recently and they just give me the willies to be honest. Don't like snakes. The next thing you can try to get are these life straws. I hope you can see that. Haven't used it yet. I can't do a review on it. You put this in the source and then you can drink out of it. These are supposed to be very good. Another good knife to have is a sog knife. Oh, nice. That's perfect. These are sog knives. They're very sharp. They are supposed to hold a nice edge. And these are very good to have. You can pick one of these up at Dick's Sporting Goods as well. With everything going on, you might want to also think about some halt spray, just in case, because you never know anymore. And this fits nicely in the holder, right along with the sog knife. And that way, everything is together for ease of use. So I think that we'll do this short today. This is Ray's Reviews, signing off.